All right, guys, so we worked five, six hours today just doing shit in the upper building, just uh, processing orders and everything. Amanda went home with the other kids. Cody wanted to stay after, and uh, we're going to sew a little bit. He's sewn off and on all his life, just kind of piddling around and stuff, but he came to me today and said he wants to be a little more serious with it and learn a little bit more about it. So we're going to build a... He decided he wanted to build a belt, so that's what he picked out. So that's what we're going to... Uh, run is a, a belt. He's sewing a, a belt right beside me, so I'm just going to do this and he's going to kind of follow along and uh, see how this goes for him. So we figured we'd record it and show it to you guys. We've already cut the webbing. It's going to be a, uh, a 1.75 Cobra belt, no Velcro liner. Um, so we're going to build that up and see how he does here. So just take that, put it out of your way. Up, right to that line. The one that we put nine and a half up? Yep. Just push it right just a hair before that because the Velcro is going to cover that. You're not going to see it. So the right there is where you want to be. You're going to line this up and I'm going to run this and I'm going to sew this three times. I'm just going to run forward, backwards, right back over it, and then right back into it.
Cody's first uh, Cobra belt. There you, uh, there you saw it. So we had a, a crew working today, um, sewing. Looks like we got a bunch of Cryptek Typhon, and and today was Saturday. Cryptek Typhon uh, clothes bags. We're still in the middle of a run of it. Looks like 12 gauge multicam micro rigs. A bunch more micro rigs. Looks like we're about to start a bunch of some kind of slings. These are a bunch of belts that were cut today that will be sewn on Monday, two inch duty belts. Here's some work piled up that'll be started this week. These are all slings, um, hundreds of slings right there. Looks like black, green, some different coyote ones. These look like they are coyote Nalgene pouches probably. And then we've got some multi-cam beer koozies. I don't see a tag on them, so I don't know how many is there. We usually run them 120. Uh, Multi-cam koozies. Yeah, there's 100 extra in that batch right there. And then we have, what do we got? We got some multi-cam micro wallets being ran. And then we have a shitload of belts. There's belts. There's more belts that are partial body built. Here's some more belts with the bodies built. Here's some more beer koozies that are partially sewn. These are micro rigs, probably AKM4s. Here's some multi-cam grocery bags. Here's finished work. What do we got? We got a bunch of QD adapters, some HK sling adapters, green 550 adapters, black 550 adapters, Coyote 550. We have some Mandrake uh, pelter wraps, a bunch of them. Looks like some Coyote X harnesses, a bunch of shotgun trays for the 12 gauge micros that are still going. Um, Cryptek H set, a bunch more 12 gauge micros that just have to have the cards laced in. 
And then these are some of the newer girls that we fired and they're doing some pre-sew stuff on probably those AKM4 micros. That's already transitioned, but you can see there's a shitload of shotgun cards there too. So probably the, the rest of those multi-cams. And um, these six machines here, we just brought in. We've actually got bodies on all six of these now. And then these machines just came in. We've got some, some big machines that we're tuning in. And then we've got this double needle, which you guys saw in the video. And then we got this big ass air compressed machine. We're gonna pull these in and this will give us another, what do we got, two, four, six, eight. So we're gonna set these up. Now give us another eight people. We've got uh, three more to come in and work on these eight. So we'll uh, rotate. We'll use some, some people will use multiple machines. So, but we've got, we've got some more machines in now so we can bring in some more work and get them trained up. So as you see, we're kind of out of room in here. We will, uh, pull a bunch of this shit out over a weekend, put it back in so we can kind of compress it and utilize the space a little bit better, but it's time to uh, find another building in, a, in addition to this one. We'll keep this one as well. Um, while we're in here, you can see this is all, the building's kind of tall in here, so we keep a bunch of plastic buckles, a bunch of our, our cases of buckles, and then we keep a shitload of uh, just cases those cases are three and a half feet tall, probably, each one. Those are all rolls of Velcro in there. And then uh, just different samples and shit that I've sewn over the years. They get hung on the walls, the original samples, so that if they have any questions as to the sequencing on stuff, they can look at a, a finished product in there. But uh, it's um, 8 o'clock already, so we're going to head up to the other building probably shut down and head home soon.